In this demonstration, we're going to go over how to create an XCOM RDS file. The RDS file is the active queue for the XCOM server. So it keeps track of all jobs that are in a pending state or a held state or an error state or anything else. So then if the server goes down or when the server goes down and you bring it back up, it still has a record of all that. So the first thing we'll need to do is go into our install directory, the high level qualifier for it. And then we're going to look for the low level qualifier of CBXG JCL. And then inside here, we're going to edit the member uh, def RDS. It's for define RDS. And inside this job, we'll need to change three things the job card, the high level qualifier, and the volume that we'll be using. Before you run this job, do take note that if the data sets already exist that you uh, specify, it will delete it and then recreate it. So uh, preferably use a unique name. If you did want to recreate your old one, the purpose of that would just be to clear out any jobs that were either in an error or held or pending or start from a clean slate. So the first thing we're going to do is change the job card. next thing we want to do is just change the high level qualifier and for the last thing we're just going to change the volume information and after that we're just going to submit and we can see that our job just ended with return code 0 and after we got the return code 0 our data set has been created if you want, you can look out just to see if it actually was created. And we are going to look and we'll see the XCOM install demo, XCOM RDS, and the associated files that were done with it. Alright, and that concludes how to create an XCOM RDS file.